see. Yeah, just start recording and there's Josh, I guess. There's his eye. There's his pretty face. <laughs> Where's my babe? There's my babe. She's, she's gorgeous. A gorgeous woman she is. Are you the filmmaker now? You can be the filmmaker. I can be the star. He's trying to keep you in focus and having a lot of trouble. I set the exposure to your manual, so that might have some... Oh, did you? Yeah, because in here, because the lights, and the, when you shift around, it just goes... Oh, yeah. So if you don't have a steady light source, then you have to sort of do it manually. It's auto, it's auto focusing, though. Yeah, so go. You just zoomed in, that's all. Go back, yeah. Sound. Testing. It's following your face. It's pretty clever, eh? Has it got the square thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty clever. It's pretty nifty. And you can move it around and it follows your face. It's pretty good. And then when you point it off you to something else, it clicks on something else. See Mary's signs up that she's got. When I'm angry, I'm just afraid. It's okay to feel afraid. Good amount of zoom in it, isn't it? Anyway, if you just leave that recording, yep. And what we'll do is we leave it recording for a uh, half an hour or so, and then we'll just check it out on the computer and just see what kind of so file sizes it puts. Yep. There. Jesus at the computer. Is the computer? <laughs> Jesus, doesn't like the computer very much. Both myself and Mary are starting to feel a bit like computers are... We don't sort of like spending their time doing them very much. I'd personally much rather just phone somebody rather than talking to them. But, you know, obviously to do the outlines and, and fix the stuff on the on the net and all that kind of stuff, we, we need to have the computer going, so what I'm trying to do at the moment is just tidy up the website, but the link is so slow that it looks like I'm going to have to give up for today. Because so, what I've done is I've modified the website a bit, hey, should I show you what, it, what I'm making it look like? Just um, well, I haven't seen the website. Did you say that it was you were, it wasn't working? Like it's not very good. But um, it's working now. I've got it working. But um, I'm just I've changed. I've added sort of things like the seminar issues, like so how the seminar topics and all the different topics of the seminar and showing like. This current schedule summary, so that's what we've organised for the next few dates at Butterham and Mac Mackay and whatever. And what have we got here? Oh, 14th, 15th. Yep. And, uh, and then we've got downloads, sort of, so you link to all the downloads. And then I'm also putting in things like letters from me, so, you, so I can actually put my letters on there, so instead of sending people emails. That's not up to date, ironically, so I'm going to just fix that. So instead of putting emails, um, in and sending emails off to people, we'll actually do letters instead. Now I'm just putting my letters that I write to people on there, yep. instead of instead of having to send out emails to everybody all the time, just because of all the numbers of email addresses that we've got. 
And then this way it's a bit more in harmony with free will too, because pe people don't want to go to the site. They don't have to, and they don't they don't get badgered by me mm. in any way. So, so just putting each letter that we write goes on there, myself or Mary. So we're just changing the format of the whole site around so that it's all a bit more functional and a bit more um, sort of more in harmony with love as well. So yeah, but in doing it. I'm having these issues. Where it keeps on losing the connection. Because we're out in the sticks. Yeah. Have you stayed you've stayed down at the sanctuary, haven't you? Yeah. Last time you remember we went camping down there? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you were there. I was there, I spent the I came back actually, I went home and then came back yeah. for the week. Yeah. And painted a tree. <laughs> How'd you find it? Yeah, it was fun. Okay. I um, yeah, I have had these really big feelings of overwhelming, like gratification towards God at that at one point because yeah. I just felt like this land is here and it's just like freedom. Yeah, it is. you can do what you want. It's lovely that the guys bought it, eh? Really, yeah. and, and their generosity and letting everybody just come there and yeah, that's good. That's good, I think. Let's go on in there. I think I'll give this up as a bad joke. Do you think like computers were designed just for triggering frustration? <laughs> Because that's I used my height to, of frustration has been. I used to feel so when I was uh, when I when I was in the game. Because a lot of times what happens is you're working around the software errors of the operating system, the software errors of the device drivers that are device, drive all the devices in the computer, and then the uh, software errors of the op, of the programs that are on top of the operating system, and then you're the programmer. And you're trying to work your way around all of these different errors and problems and everything all the time. And, and a lot of the Microsoft stuff isn't as reliable as it could be as well. So It's uh, kind of like this puzzle that doesn't have pieces that fit a uh, lot of yeah, the time. Yeah, but a lot of times it's because they're poorly set up as well. Like we used to, when we used to do setups for people, we used to get them so they're really stable. And you'd never have to reboot the machine and never, you know, you can get it that way. But you have to know what you're doing to do it, and it's quite time-consuming. And most people don't have the resources or the or, or the or the time to do it, or the or the skills to do it either. Because there's a lot going on behind the scenes with the computer that most people who are not in the engineering game wouldn't know what's really going on. And then also, I find a lot of people don't have a very logical viewpoint of things, so they don't set up things in a very hierarchical way and easy to access way so things are all over the place yeah. and you get a lot of problems when things are all over the place particularly particularly I think it's locked up again, particularly with um, Windows products because you've got you've got all of these profiles that get stored in a certain area and then people start putting things in their own profiles as data that they want to share to other people and it's all protected a certain way and you get all these problems so it's like at the end that's not going to work today. We'll do that tomorrow morning or tonight when everyone's talking to each other. How are you doing, babe? Okay. Busy. Do you yeah. know much about computers? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, On, off, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Word. Yeah. That's all I know. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Josh? I am. Um, yeah. No. Like, I've just always had this thing with computers. So I just struggle with them. <laughs> Yeah. 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 What did we say earlier about the emotional stuff, babe? That to talk about or to the free will stuff that we were talking about in bed this morning. That wasn't free will; that was desire. Oh, that's right. And you just mentioned the free will stuff. But the free will. Not that people not understanding free will. Well, people understand free will to mean like you can. I mean, you can do whatever that. You've you got want. to let everyone around you do whatever they want, even exactly. to your stuff and even, even to, to you. your detriment, or to you against your own will. Like. Well, you've got to let them. That's 
You do, but, but you, don't, you don't have to, you can say something. You can say, no, I don't like that. Yeah. Because that's your free will. Right? Yeah. And if you do that, you're not invited again. You can say that. Well, and that was the other thing, like, around your, how do you feel about um, your home and what that represents, like your own environment? Yeah. I feel like strongly that if I'm in an environment, I have a responsibility to care, or I have a desire to care for that environment, for the good of myself and the environment that I'm in. Well, the way like I the look animals at it is that it's not my environment. And, well, and this is this is this is where I was heading with this question. Yeah. Um, I don't have a sense of ownership about my environment, but. There is something, if I live in a space and somebody else comes into my space, see there's, there's an ownership in that statement. No, you don't, you don't know what I mean. <coughs> I don't view this as my environment, I view it as God's environment. If it's God's environment, then I have a duty, yeah. if you like, to care for this environment the way God would care for it. Yeah. And so what I want to do if I'm bringing myself into harmony with divine love, what I'll do then is I'll always... I'll always attempt to care for this environment exactly the way God would care for this environment, which means, like, also as as best to my ability, in, in, um, using God's laws to actually care for the environment as well. So, so in other words, one of my major cares of the environment is that I need to be emotional. So, yeah. so if I'm here in my environment, in this environment, and which is and someone wants to shut me down, then they are out of harmony with God's laws of, of being in this environment. And so they need to go to another environment. And if I've got control over that, I can certainly ask them to go to another environment. That's certainly harmonious with love of myself and love of God. It, it gets but back down to the priority system we talked uh, about. Yeah, but the, the, the situation, and this came up uh, in the discussion recently about the sanctuary, and in the discussion, um, say, with Monica today about our... There is an element of this is our environment. Like we, this is my question. I, I'm not sure what's error and what's loving. Um, if I'm in an environment, like if I'm in Monica, or if I'm in Fred's home, and he wants to eat meat, then I respect that's his free will choice. I would point out that I feel that that's not in harmony with love and I actually in my current state don't know that I could be at the same dinner table because I would feel a lot of emotions mm -hmm. so I might make my own free will choice to leave. Exactly. But when Fred comes to my home I, I can say yep God's laws state that I don't, uh, I, that eating meat is not loving so we don't have that in this environment. Mm, but you still don't get the point of what I originally said. About God's laws. If I view this as God's, as this is the place that God's laws are going to be practiced, this is the place where divine love is going to be flowing, this is the place where all of the laws of God, as far as I'm aware of them, will be, flow, will be flowing completely all the time. Mm. And then what I'll do is I'll uphold that in the place that I have got. But to uphold that. Exactly, and that, that's, that, that last little bit is where I'm struggling, in the place where I have the ability to uphold that. No, see, so, well, I, I would go to the, if I was visited, if I was visiting a person's home, yeah. and they started eating meat, mm -hmm. I would say, look, I, you know, and, you know, if I felt about it, I would go, <coughs> you're actually, I would tell him straight, like, yeah, you're actually so, breaking God's laws. Yeah. Um, <coughs> A lot of people would say, oh, I shouldn't do that because it's his free will. He's allowed to break God's laws. Yes, he is. Yeah, but I also have the free will ability to point out. Without being... It's not that. It's not that you have the free it's will. It's a loving thing to do, I Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's an act of love. It's a desire, not free will. It's not like I have the right to. No, it's no. It's an act of love to. But this is where I was getting to about talking to people about free will. People start to... There's, I really dislike this idea of rights. Because there's a lot of emotion that goes behind people thinking, I have the right, la la la. And they've started to view this free will concept as the right. I have the right to do whatever I want. 
while you have the ability, you have the free will to do whatever you want, there are, because we're in God's universe, there are penalties on your soul if you decide to use your free will out of harmony with love. Totally. Just as there is benefits to my soul if I choose to use my free will in harmony with love. Yeah. So, so when people go down doing this track of, of love, harmony. yeah, people go down this track of saying, well, I have the, they have the right, like, for example, I'm at Fred's house, he's got the right to do that, but he's got the right to eat meat, it's his free will choice. But in, in just making that statement and just leaving it as that, then I am immediately ignoring the fact that Fred's breaking one of God's laws, and if I loved him just as I love myself, then I would say to him, Fred, you should know this. Like, you're breaking one of God's laws. I wouldn't say it in an angry way, but I'd say it in a loving way. But that's the bit that people aren't getting. It's not just that that they're getting. That. Okay. That's the, they're not getting it, though, are they? I'm right about no. that. No. No. Lots of things about free will they're not getting. Yeah. Because they say, oh, I have free will, so therefore I have the ability to do anything I want <coughs> without consequence. Well, that's the bit that I was saying about the laws. And there's always consequence. Yeah. But they're doing it also in relation to others, like they, 